Welcome back to Corporate Homesteader part number 10. So first of all, sorry for not posting any videos in the recent months. Um, I did make a lot of progress though. It was not, uh, just didn't get to it. Uh, also, um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a walkthrough on uh, the changes and progress that we've made. So please enjoy. Okay, so um, I guess it's a little, easy to see that uh, over there I started actually framing the triangle windows and actually all the five windows here are framed and I actually have on this window there's actually a sheet of glass in there right now so this is just for me like a proof of concept more than anything else so it's not super easy to see but actually my septic system line is coming out here and it's going straight to over there so I dug that all up and in essence have here from my uh, from my electrical box I have a, a, a number six wire uh, tech cable actually uh, going over here and then over there and up to the tree I'll show you that in a second but uh, so I did that I also did a underground a data cable uh, PEX pipe half inch for water um, and actually that comes all over here and uh, here is actually the connection for the uh, three inch drain. If I choose to put the um, water and uh, sewer to the treehouse, uh, here is actually where the, the cable is coming out. It's actually quite, it's a big cable. It gave it some extra room up here and then it goes up there. And this is where the, my water line currently terminates. It's not connected to anything. So this was actually important to sort out because I didn't really have a power source to the treehouse. It was basically an extension cord uh, that I had from my pump house, from my well house. Uh, just a 15 amp circuit, which was actually shared with the pump. So not really sustainable. And uh, uh, ultimately I do have to get proper power to the treehouse. So here you can see, actually, this is now just power and uh, data. Going up the tree trunk and then uh, going up basically up into the wall. Also, we made some progress here. In essence, I put on all the final siding here and uh, Tyvek as well. These are the two windows in the bathroom and uh, started shingling. I ran out of shingles and I figured it's very time consuming. So I'm gonna just save that for whenever I'm done with everything else because um, uh, I just wanted to protect the whole area there from the elements. And with the Tyvek on, I think I'm in pretty good shape. So the yeah, suspension bridge, really no progress here on that, nor on the stairs. Super exciting actually because uh, another thing that I was able to do is put a proper entrance door in. So I have a, it's a pretty skinny door. It's a 24 inch uh, exterior door. But uh, you know, put in as, as big of a window as I was able to put in because I need the light, extra light. Okay. So the biggest change is probably in the treehouse is the fact that I have now my power and data coming up here. It's a, it's a 60 amp service and uh, it's live already. I started actually wiring, you know, some lights, also power outlets. Uh, and uh, that's all uh, basically ready to go and uh, well, should help me for the winter to keep the frost off. I have a heater here though. And uh, as you can see here, these are actually a couple of windows in. I just put them in um, and uh, I call the proof of concept. It all has to be of course sealed with silicon. They're literally just put in right now, those two windows. Um, and then I have one more here, I tried a square one. That's basically just held by a couple of nails. So I wanted to see if the dimensions are good. 
but I, in essence, put my windows frames around here already. So my goal is, as a next step, is to put those four remaining windows in. So, because uh, when the winter comes, it's gonna be easier to just put like a tarp on these windows. And then I basically have a sealed envelope. There's already a tarp on those two, and that's all closed off here. So it should be okay. Uh, then up here, actually, it's just temporary structure because actually my son, uh, Keaton and I, we were sleeping in a tent up there in the spring this year, 2020. So yeah, that's an update. So I hope this was useful. Uh, looking forward to more subscribers. So please subscribe if you haven't done so yet and take, uh, click the notification uh, to get new videos. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I uh, try to make uh, more regular videos because uh, it's gonna be an interesting phase now, getting the windows in and get the whole place sealed up for the winter. That will be my goal in essence as a next step. Thanks and please subscribe.